Welcome to uh, the video blog portion of, or the video portion of the blog. Uh, here I have a view of markup loaded up, all ready to go. You can uh, again, you can load a view and markup by going to your start menu, solid edge SD7 view and markup. If you load it up this way, you'll see the menu ribbon here is pretty much empty. From here, I can either go into revision manager or go and straighten it open. And an assembly, and we'll cover Revision Manager in a future blog here. But this is the assembly I want to go ahead and open. This is a solid edge assembly. It's uh, this one right here with the air compressor. Now, again, the different file types that are available for you to look at too is you can load up a say an NX document, uh, AutoCAD drawings, DXF, DWG, uh, even STL files. So, like I said, like it's mentioned in the blog, uh, the view and markup does consume a, a solid edge license, so a designer will have to go ahead and kick this off and save this package file out before somebody, say, with a solid edge free viewer can open it up and do it do their own markups and add to the pro add to the uh, the package file. So here we'll just go ahead and open and load up the assembly. It's going to read all the native. Uh, geometry and uh, information that you saved inside Solid Edge. It'll also pick up on all the piece parts. It'll go ahead and assemble it and give you a representation in kind of a light JT weight file. So here in the main screen we can actually see the main assembly here. Here's a little preview navigation window. We can collapse it down by using these controls here. I'm going to go ahead and leave it open for now. I'm going to shrink it down a bit just so we can see the actual parts tree and now you can see all the components are expanded out and shown uh, from here like uh, you, like I said you can rotate the part rotate it however you want to see it now for you CAD designers you know this isn't really a big whoop but say somebody who doesn't have a CAD uh, doesn't work with CAD every day they'll find this tool you know especially when they use the free viewer they'll find this tool uh, very helpful so again, you can rotate it around. You can go to name views too. So directly what you had inside Solid Edge, you can go ahead and navigate to and go back to the ISO. Uh, you can zoom in on certain areas, zoom in to certain components. And of course, you got your fit command, and then down here on your navigation, you know, with all the piece parts here, I can actually go and fly to a certain part of the part of this assembly. Zero in on it over here in the preview area. You can see it's highlighted in red. So I get a bird's eye view of what I'm looking at. You can also you know shift and multiple select different components to automatically highlight. I can go ahead and fit and you know, zoom on out and I can see I'm highlighting gold over here. Now again you can also change the background color, change you can go to perspective and stuff like that. All that is customizable. So you can see the menu ribbons fully you know fully populated here. You can also see revision manager we can get to it and again we'll cover that here later on a future topic but here's the markup section uh, we have uh, if you bring in a 2d part you can do 2d markups or we can do 3d markups right here uh, we have a free hand tool that we can use let me go ahead and change my little tab view over here to show the markup groups but right here you know I can circle around highlight a an area of importance I can also create rectangles and you can change the background on all this over here in the options and the preferences you know, fill colors, you can change that if you don't want a lot of line colors, text, symbols, fonts, so all that is customizable. So you can draw any shape, anything to help aid on your markup area. You can also put in some text. You see here. Change the font if you need to. That's in there. And be sure you select over the, the select tool, that way you can rearrange it you can also create more than one layer so if I bounce off of here and I quickly go in I can expand this out there's my first markup layer so it's a it'll it's kind of it's an extra layer on top of the original so you never lose any of the integrity of the original model that was generated so from here you know you can generate another markup layer from there now I've got two come over here and draw an ellipse right over here there's a third markup layer and so on and so forth and I want to cycle through them and you just quickly go in there and this can convey all sorts of different types of information say I want to send another designer or suppliers outside the company or vendors uh, you can also take measurements now of course this would be you know this would come in hand more for the people who are outside the your CAD spectrum but you know even you you can go in here and
quickly go in and pull certain dimensions if you needed to. Oh, that's coming in from a it's coming in from an edge. Let's go ahead and do that over again, right quick. Let's go from say that line there to this line over here. You know, you can quickly pull some quick information off the fly. Uh, I can get you, know, you can do uh, lengthwise and also give you a uh, radial. Uh, angular dimensions, radial dimensions. You can also click on certain components and it'll automatically give you all the information based off of there. And I think we're going to even drag a, let's change it to single here. Single point gives you, you know, say circle, diameters. You can pull the information off that. Or we can go over to, you know, all the way down to a part. And right here, give you the file name and the volume. All, a lot of extra information. Now, for designers, like I said, uh, it's nothing new, but probably people outside the organization, if you set the option, they can go in and measure your parts or assemblies. Whenever you're done, you can go in and clear them all out. Uh, the other area is your sectional views. You can actually create live sections or live section views here on your model and save those to your markup layers. So it's as simple as defining a plane. Tell it which side you want to cut. There's your markup layer with that view. You can also create another sectional plane. Say so we want to go on that front view, readjust it, going in probably through half the tank. Cut to the near, there's that one. You can also combine several sectional views from here as well. So let's cut to the near there and let's create another section. Say on the Y and let's go halfway through there and cut to the near and I can create that group. So now if I cycle through my last three, there's one from the top or from the front and combine both. Again, right here we have our preferences where you can add in you know, different colors, grid, clipping, and material thickness. Once I'm done, I'm done marking it up or say I wanted to say, you know, you don't even have to do the markups. I want to go ahead and save this and send this off to somebody else. I would come over to the application menu and I can save this as, and here's the option here, PCF package collaboration file. You know, there's no need to saving the extra piece parts, throwing them into a zip file along with the assembly or trying to hunt and gather all the linked files. It's all saved here automatically. And the security and password, again, you can, you know, what the name entails, you can put a password on it. But you can also enable some of the features that will show up in the uh, 3D, uh, the Solid Edge uh, three, free 3D viewer the free viewer that comes with it. So you can enable all the features like I have here, you know, enable save, enable markup, measurement, sectional views. You can turn all these off. You can also protect it with the password here. All personal preference and how you want to control your data. Right now I'll just go ahead and override the one I have here. Save it. It's going to combine all my markup changes all into the same package file right here. So now I'm going to quickly pause it and I'll go over to another system that has Solid Edge, uh, the Solid Edge Free Viewer, and I'll show you what it looks like in there. Here I have the uh, the other system. Here's the package file. You just copy it in. You can email it, uh, send it through a network, however you want to send it to your recipient. But this is what it looks like. Over here is the Solid Edge Free Viewer, and you can tell by the icon it's got the lightning bolt. And the application menu is a little more condensed too, so you don't have that many options. But everything here you see on the screen, you know, almost mirrors exactly what was on the uh, view and markup. Here you got a little preview. Here's your actual model, and here are all your items, all the piece parts. You can do the same things you did over there in the other program. You can rotate around, you can go to name views you have all that same capabilities as well we'll go to their ISO view here, we can actually go in and you know fly to a part, we can reload the home menu ribbon, you know, you still got all that too over here, it's just a little shortened down Right now, version, but you can see over here in our little pane here it says markups are available. So, if we go to the markup layer, we can actually cycle through all the markups that I created earlier in the markup. 
Now, if you didn't create these in view and markup, then and you didn't save the capability over there whenever you saved it out, then you could, these items right here, markup and measurement, these would be grayed out and not available to the user using the free viewer. So if I go over here to markup, you know, now I have the ability as well to come over here and do my own markups or add to. You know, I can go in there and add freehand stuff. I can add the same rectangular options that I had in the other in the other system. Come back over here. So I added to that markup and it'll go ahead and add a response. You know, that's what I did. I can also create my own. So I can create my own markup layer too if I needed to. And I'll just tag it in at the bottom and italicize so you can tell who, you know, which ones were the older ones, which ones are the new ones, and the responses that you created to them. Uh, since I also turned on the capability as well, I got mark a uh, measurement. So the same thing that I did earlier in the in the view and markup stage. You know, pick two edges, be able to measure that out. I can also measure out parts. Let's change it to single, go back to part, get all the information I need from there. Also, you know, you can go in and since I turned this on as well, I can go in and turn on my sectional view. So if I want to create my own section as part of the markup process, I can do that. And say I want to clip to far end, get the back end clipped off. There's a new sectional view, automatically adds it to the bottom of the stack there rotate around and I slice through my assembly on the back end. From there I can go ahead and save it back to the collaboration file. Now my original model and everything else still reside on the original system. This is an entire separate package file, a PCF, that we're actually making changes to so nothing is being affected yet. So then you can bounce this around, like I said, within your within your company or to suppliers or vendors.